I always feel like if you're underpriced and you need to do a price correction, you do not have to wait for the, the, the stuff that's underpriced to sell because first of all, you're repelling customers. If you have a customer, um, so let's just say you had this 18 by 22 inch frame print for $150 hanging next to one of his other artists who had the same, a similar sized artwork for $650. And that customer has $700 to spend on an artwork. Which one do they think is going to be more valuable and more appealing? Not the yeah. cheaper art. Right. So wow. if you're selling in the marketplace, you do not want to be the cheapest artist. So you need to do a price correction. So that's one reason to adjust your prices. You, you have, you're underpriced. You need to do a price correction immediately. The, the second reason is if something shifts for you you got you're part of a new a, a, you have a celebrity collector you're part of a new, and a celebrity doesn't necessarily mean like a movie star it could be like someone who is an important art collector you know you're in the collection of somebody who has some sort of influence or importance okay so that would be a reason to raise your price um you've you've gotten some some press like suddenly you're in art news magazine that would be a reason like you have different additional publicity um try, trying to think of other other reasons like but there's like a reason that you like it's pushing your prices up if you sold out but that would be again reason to have a price correction like you you're not you're not keeping up with demand that was Linda Doucette last year, not keep, but she was raising her prices um, before waiting for her existing collection to sell out. And she was finding it easier to sell her art at the higher prices. So not only were they higher, but she was selling more because she was finding it easier to sell it wow. at the higher prices. 